Hello, Naomi. This is Kwame from Think Life. Okay, Kwame, welcome. So I have my two abled um partners. Um, that is Patrick and Eunice in the um in the core and they'll be assisting me. So, I know me. Hello. Um, Patrick, I think it was a mistake. Forgive me. So I want to ask a question quickly. If you are on the call, we've done two days. Eunice, I've made you a co-host so that you assist with um, allowing people to join the class. I have quick question. Right. Let me see by hands those that think that the two days session so far has really been of benefit. Like they've learned some. Eunice, please mute yourself. Who believe that the past two days have really been beneficial and they've learned something? How many of us? Okay. Let me see by hands. Okay. I'm trying to. Um, Jemima, Clifford, Jesua, Seth. Any other person? Any other person who who really thinks they, they have enough knowledge with regards to the first two days? Immediately, I made Eunice a co-host. Somebody has joined, and the person is called Eunice Abedi. Eunice, have you joined with two lines? Or is well, just that, that's, that's me. That's me. I'll be trying to. No, no, please. This is Edwin, so I'll just rename myself. Coming to do so now. Okay. Okay. So, Edwin, please rename yourself for me. Like I said, let's use the link that was sent to us when we registered. That is the only way you will not come in as units. So, let's do that. Okay. So, good. You have enough information about um, the first two sessions with regards to e-commerce and understanding the landscape and everything. Now, another question. How many of us, let me see by hands, really think that with the two sessions that we have done, you are capable of also teaching your startups or teaching others. Let me see by hands. You are capable of teaching others. You'll be able to teach others. Let me see by hand. I'm not seeing any hand. Okay, Amelia, Clifford, Kwame. Seth, okay. So, okay, Jesua. Um, so, um, what is the name? I'm seeing Dora. Dora and Jemima. I didn't see your hand. Can you please unmute and tell me? Hi, Naomi. Yes, Good Jemima. afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so I did not raise my hand because yesterday I had issues trying to log on to the training and I wasn't able to join at all. So I sort of missed out yesterday. But then thanks to what you put on the page, I was able to. So for the first day, the reason I raised my hand for the first question was like, for the first day, I really learned a lot. Like it's an eye opener for me. And based on what I learned on the first day, yes, I can train someone. I can tell someone what e-commerce, you know, what goes into it and all that. But I'm hopeful that from today to like the last day of our training, I get to learn more. And then um, I would be in a better position to teach others too as well. So that's the reason my hand is down. Thank okay. You. Okay. I that that I accept that. Okay. What about Dora? Dora, I know you joined just yesterday. But exactly, yeah. But with so, yesterday. Uh, yes, with yesterday, I can actually teach someone, but because I didn't join in the initial stage, I'm still trying to see if, if 
if I can be able to get a more insight about it, then I think I'll be good to go. So I'll, let's see how today goes. But I'm okay with what happened yesterday. Okay, awesome. Thank you all very much. So this is no. just to help us to know um how effectively we are delivering the sessions. So a quick one for those of us that joined yesterday. What what was your takeaway, please? I don't want my takeaway was I learned a lot and I learned about e-commerce and I learned about uh, how to do uh, this. Let us know exactly what you really learned yesterday. What exactly did you take out from here that you'll be able to teach someone? I need about two or three people before we go ahead for today's session. Yes, Jesua. All right. So please can you all hear me? Yes, please. Okay. So yesterday, my takeaway home was the payment gateway platform, the mm -hmm. methodology we went through to create the Paystack okay. accounts and how to link it to the platform. Uh, it was an eye opener. Actually, it was my first time going through that process. And the analytics we went through when we got to the breakout session, I think yesterday I joined Facebook. I got to know that with the intro aspect, most of the times we are limited by the number of characters. Hence, we need to be brief and concise. Put something which speaks about you that before the individual who has visited your page gets to know more about what you do. Your intro alone should be able to communicate to the person what your page is all about. And seeing the being able to know your audience and getting the right information to communicate to them per the target audience and per your roots. Yes. Okay. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Um any other person? That was very detailed. If you didn't come yesterday, I think from what she has shared, <laughs> you shouldn't have an issue. Ka I like. You shouldn't have an issue. Ka from what our sister has shared. Okay, any other person to share with us apart from Jesua what you learned yesterday? Please, we have just one minute to go. And in doing this, I've actually um, uploaded the slide, the two recordings on um, YouTube. And so from today, you'll be able to watch it. And from now, I'm actually going live there so that it will actually stay there after the class. So... Any other person, please raise your hand or mute yourself and share. A man, since we had Jesua share with us. I want a man. Any man? Oh, so the men did not learn anything or they've posted it in the chat, chat group. Eunice, there's something in the chat box. They said what a man can do, a woman can do better. So we wanted the women to dominate today. No, 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 That's no. Please, 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 do your own. This is not about what a man can do, a woman can do better. I better go ahead. I'm waiting. Alfred, what did you learn yesterday? Tell me. <laughs> okay, well, um, so uh, as a student yesterday, I learned about some um Free sites that our startups could take advantage of to um have an e-commerce platform uh, temporarily that they can use and how they can also integrate uh, some. Is it only me or he's going off? Um, system. So these are the basic one. I think that we knowing how. To Alfred, oh, your line sorry. is breaking. Is it better? 
Yes, it's better now. Yes. Well, well, I think Ellie, it means it doesn't want me to speak today, so that is why. <laughs> anyway, but if you can hear me, <laughs> if you can hear me, so I was saying that I mean um the learning of the free sites for the e-commerce platform and also the integration has helped me as a hub um to teach some of our startups, even without they knowing how to code, they can take advantage of some of these free um opportunities and start from there. And if later they want to integrate it to a bigger platform, then they can do that as well. So that was an eye opener. Then we looked at the auditing aspect, which is very key to me because um, as a hub owner, maybe you have people managing your social handles for you at a mm -hmm. point. And it's also important that you do, you sit with them as a team, maybe periodically to do an audit to see whether what you are posting and what you are expecting from your your audience, it's really working. If it's not working, then it has to be reviewed by the auditing template you shared with that, which is very helpful as well. So these are the two things I think as a student yesterday I learned. Thank you. Awesome. I love these responses. Thank you, Alfred. Um, so we are delving into today's session. When we started the um this whole procedure, we did a needs assessment. And one of the key things that SE Ghana um, chairman, uh, almighty Edwin, made us aware was around content marketing. So today, we're still following up on e-commerce, but we are delving into content marketing. So my first question, what is content? When we talk about content, don't even add the marketing. When we talk about content, what is content to you? How do you understand content? Anybody raise your hand or drop in the chat box. What is content? All the ingredients of whatever you're talking about. What goes into whatever goes into your basket? Which basket? Well, because you said we should not consider the market teams. That's why. Yeah. So what exactly is content? When we talk about content, what is it? Anything. Mm -hmm. All the ingredients that go into a particular mm -hmm. um, platform. So what are, these, what are these ingredients? <laughs> Alfred is saying the things inside something. <laughs> Which are the things? <laughs> Pass on that one. <laughs> Please, what are the ingredients that Eric is talking about? What is content? what is content please oh please you people say you you you, you want us to have an, a fun class so there are no right or wrong because, answers or, we said or it simply the one. various parts the various parts of uh mm -hmm. whatever yeah we are discussing the various part of the whatever now, i don't know the whatever <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the whatever, please. What is the whatever? Any other person? Oh, please, because of time, let's hurry up because we have some amazing sessions today, activities today. Amelia, there are no right or wrong answers. There are no right or wrong answers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And a room, we take a room, we have a bed, we have shirts, we have TV in the room. So that those are the things that make up the room. So okay. let's say that. Yeah. So, so it's my content, understanding. just like Alfred was saying, the things inside something, right? So okay, now let's bring it, let's bring it to in the world of communication. In the world of communication, when we talk about content, what does content mean? Information contained, okay. In the world of communication, when we talk about content, what does content mean? Okay. So content has to do with just content. It has to do with the topic matter, the table of principle, the illustrations, the written aspect, everything that you put together in order to communicate about something. That is content in, in um in communication, everything 
all the written, the themes, the matter to be treated, that you write or you illustrate in any form. The illustrations can be in pictures, it can be in videos, it can be in music that you put together in order to actually communicate something that has to do with content. Now let's go into what content marketing is. So today, basically, this is what we are going to do with regards to the content marketing. We are talking about the content marketing and the role it plays in e-commerce, how to really uh, analyze the content marketing, the principles, how to set goals, the importance of set uh, understanding your target audience because it's very key, the types of content, how to create an engaging product description for. So when we talk about product in marketing, it means goods that are tangible or services that are intangible. And then we are going to have some amazing um, discussion. So content, as you see on your screen, can somebody read for me if you can see it? Anybody to read for me? Please, I'm reading. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Content marketing is a strategic approach that involves creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and engage its target audience. In the content of e-commerce, content marketing plays a crucial role in building a strong online presence, establishing brand authority, and fostering customer relationships. By providing valuable information, solving customer problems, and delivering engaging content, businesses can effectively connect with their audience and drive meaningful interactions. Um, Thank you. So with regards to um, content marketing, this is what content marketing is about. All the strategic approach from creating, from coming up with the idea, the theme, to putting the idea together and how you are going to distribute that idea in order to really engage. This is why I keep saying that the fact that you are posting doesn't mean that you are selling. Content marketing goes into whatever post you are putting together. When you come to social media marketing, when we talk about content, it's not just about the pictures. It's not just about the captions. It's not just about your page but it's a totality of your page. It's a totality of the caption you are writing, the image, the, the, the illustration you are adding to the caption, the call to action, that is the CTA. When people come and they read the post you have put out, what action do you want them to, to take? Everything put together becomes content. So the fact that you are posting you think that you are always posting on your platforms doesn't mean you are selling. Doesn't mean that you are marketing something. It doesn't mean that you are marketing something. So you, you should have this in your mind before we go on. Before we go on. And in order for you to create to have an effective and efficient content marketing and to create an efficient content marketing, you need to create what we call the compelling content, compelling content. So what is this compelling content? Anybody to read for me when we talk about compelling content? Who else? Any, anybody to read for me? Amelia read the first one. Who, who wants to read this for me? Please be writing notes and keeping tabs on some of the things because afterwards, we are actually going to um, create our content. We are going to do create our own content marketing. So who can help me read what is on the screen? Compelling content. You cannot just create, say you are having um, content marketing without compelling. Clifford. Clifford, please read for me. Compelling content. When we talk about compelling content, what does it mean? 
Okay, now me um compelling content. So compelling content in digital marketing is content that captures and maintains the attention of your target audience, resonates with their needs and interests, and ultimately drives them to take the desired action, such as making a purchase, signing up for a newsletter, or sharing the content with others. Thank you. So I want to ask the hub representatives and everyone that, sh that is on this call, Checking your hearts, doing the auditing. That is why we did the auditing yesterday. Do you think you have been posting stuff that actually is able to capture and maintain the attention of your audience? Do you think you have been posting stuff that resonates with the needs and interests of your audience? Do you think that whatever you have been posting has actually been able to get your target audience to take the desired action. The hubs, Nafara hubs, Eastern Tech hub, SE Ghana, um, Jesua is from, Jesua, can you please rename yourself for me? Jemima as well. Jemima, Emifa, can you please rename? Pink Life, um, Lisbeth, I know runs her own business. Uh, Seth, Carol, Hub, all of you, do you think so? That one, I want, I want the responses in the chat box. I'm reading. I want a yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Do you think, do you think that based on, okay, Seth, I love your honesty. He says sometimes, okay. Jemima says not really. Alfred says yes or no. Alfred, I know I'll beat him before he leaves. <laughs> yes or no? Jesus says sometimes. I love the honesty in between. Awesome. Thank you all for the responses. Keep them coming. So this is what a compelling content should be about. And we've understood that a compelling content or a content in general is not just about the caption, but it's actually a totality of the caption as well as the illustrations that you attach and the action you want people to, to make. So the fact that you made a post and you, you just added a picture doesn't mean it's really selling. We should put that in mind. So how can we come and create a compelling content? In fact, let's start with the types of content that we can create, the types of content that we can create. And then we come to how we can create a compelling content. And today I'm doing the class with all of you. I need another person to read for me. Alfred. Is Alfred there? Okay, so if Alfred is busy, let me call another person. Augustine. Augustina, I think this is the first time I'm seeing you. Augustina, please. Can you read what is on the screen for us? The types of compelling content. The various ways that you can actually create a compelling content. Please, because of time, because we have some practicals to do today. Okay. Types of compelling content. In the diverse landscape of e-commerce content, Mm -hmm. Various formats cater to different stages of the customer journey. This includes blog posts or caption, product review, videos, infographics, social media posts. Okay, thank you very much, Alfred. Thank, thank God for that you've recovered your voice. So as you can see, there are various there are various content types. Actually, these are not all the types. There are carousels, among others. So what is the blog post? Blog posts are mostly um, a longer version. We have the micro blogging and then we have the main blogs. So they are, they are a longer version of um, written statement that you put together to describe something to actually sell your product. And the captions are an explanation of the illustrations that you put on. So the, the, when you take platforms like Facebook, or some uh, blog sites, blogging sites, you can actually do just 
blog posts. You can do just captions. You can do just written uh, statements. You, you don't need to add even any illustrations. Those ones work, right? And then we have the product reviews where you post a product and then you take aspects of the product, things, features of the product with its benefits and the values to actually explain what is it that you want to do. And I've explained to you that in marketing, when we talk about a product, we mean a good or a service. A good is the tangibles, which we've been calling product, products, and the services are the intangibles, like what I'm doing is a service. So you, you do product reviews where re you review your products. There is also the video versions where you create videos. You create videos in order to sell. So you can create content like that. And nowadays, what you should put in mind is that the uh, um, content that are really selling, especially on the digital platforms, are content that have graphics, illustrations. So illustrations like videos, infographics, pictures, among others. There are various forms of um, illustrations that you can use. There is also the infographics. Infographics are mainly used to illustrate, to show a process, for, to explain your products or your services. And there are the social media ones where you post. You can generate it based on the platform that you are using. So if you go to TikTok, you can do slideshow. You can do picture, picture videos. Pic, um, so either the slideshow or putting pictures together to create a video, or you can create a video itself. You can go live to also share your information and you can add a caption to explain it. When you go on um, Instagram, Instagram also deals with illustrations. You cannot just put um, write a blog post or a caption on Instagram. You need to add a media to it. However, when you go to Facebook, you can actually make a blog post or write a micro a written statement without adding any media to it. The same way when you go to LinkedIn or when you go to Twitter. Please, am I making sense? Are we getting it? I don't know if I'm making, okay, good. I, I see some hands up. Okay, good. I see some comments as well. Awesome. Now with all these in this day and age of AI, there are tools that you can use to actually optimize some of these services. When it comes to blog posts and captions, creating your captions and everything, remember that we said that content starts from you getting the theme and the idea, so the ideation. So right from the ideation, if you are able to put together the idea, one of the areas, one of the tools that you can use in order for it to expatiate your idea or to help you come up with captions is what we call the copy AI. Copy AI. I'll drop, I'll drop the, the tool in the chats. It's copyai.com. Copyai.com. When you go to copyai.com, you can give copyai.com your team, your idea, and it will create captions for you, depending on how you want it. If you want it to be a blog post, if you want it to be just social media posts or normal captions, depending on how you want it, you just need to give it a prompt. You can use the usual one that now everybody is also talking about. It's called what? Now everyone is crazy about it. What is the name of that tool? ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Thank you, Jesua. Copy AI. <laughs> I've already talked about copy AI, but ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is also there for you to also, it helps you to create your captions as well as your content. Now, with regards to the videos, the infographics, the editing of your pictures, among others, some of the apps that you can use for the videos, you can use Canva, you can use InShots as well, you can use CapCut. Some of these um, tools already have um, templates in them where you can use it to create. So we have Canva, we have InShots, we have um cap cut there are a lot i know some of most of the hubs already know so 
Can someone also share, because we've been using it for trainings in our hearts, what are some of the tools that we can use to create video content? Anyone to share what they've been using? The hubs. I know you do some of these trainings, so it shouldn't be news to us. The hubs. Anyone? Yes, Victor. I saw Victor on mute. Victor from Dancing. Yeah, mostly I use uh, Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other person? The halves. Don't, I know we have all been editing videos and all that. Okay. Let me call Yakubu Lutz. What does what what does Agrico Hub uses for their video editing? Okay, Kwame has raised the hand. So Kwame, you go first. Hello. Yes, Kwame. No, this yeah, uh, Lutz. Hello. Yes, this Lutz. Uh, we use Premiere Pro and then uh, uh, also use uh, Filmora for our videos. Okay. Awesome. Very good. I know I know a friend who also uses Femora. Um he's called um I forgot to he's in Sunyani. Okay, somebody also says Mova V app. There is also Viva Video. I have been using Viva Video since since since. I actually use the paid ones. At the end of the month, you realize that the deductions and then you are you are you are dying. There is also splice. Um, as um, Eunice is typing. There are also the ones that you can use to edit your pictures or create flyers. What are some of them? Let's drop them. I don't want to mention them. Let's drop them in the chat box. Yes, Kwame. Kwame has a, his hand raised again. Please, we are doing this together. So we know that we have the tools, the ones that the, the startups can use easily. Victor, yes, let's go. The pictures. The pictures they can use uh, canvas or uh, yes canva mm -hmm. or illustrator hello yeah canvas photoshop or illustrator depends on what they can use easily i think canvas will be much easier canva. For them. so for our startups yeah. they can use canva they can use photoshop um what else what else uh, they can use mm -hmm. simplify simplify so yeah. Simplify is also there for pictures. InShot is also there for pictures as well for designing your flyers among others. So these are so that means that we actually have the tools ready to create this compelling content. We have the tools. You have a tool that is helping you to create the captions. You have the tools that is helping you to create the illustrations. Now, how do we create this compelling content? What are the processes that we have to go through to create the compelling content? How do we do this? Now to create your compelling content, sorry. I think, I, I don't know what happened, but my slides have mixed up. To create your compelling content, the first thing you need to do, the, I'm not going to mention all these that is on the, on the screen. You can pick and choose some of them, but these are very, very important. Remember that we said co content is a totality of everything. The first thing to do is to define your objective. Understand the purpose of creating that content. Victor, is your hand up for question or from the previous one? From the previous one. Okay. Can you lower it for me? So define your objective. One thing that we see many of us do is that we wake up. Maybe you are not, sorry, I'm not blowing my horn. Maybe you are not a pro like me who just wakes up and able to create a content, a caption, as well as this. Like you have the themes already in your mind and then you go along with it. But you always need to know your objective. Why do I want to create this? Um, do I want to create this? Uh, content and put online the reason for that content don't just create it if you are able to know that my objective is to create awareness 
And in that awareness, my goal is to create awareness. And the objective for the awareness is that I want to reach. It will guide you to know exactly how to create the caption, how to create the illustrations as well. So the first thing is to know your objective. The second is to know who you are trying to target. Understand, yes, we already have, we already know about customer segmentation. I'm not going to go into that because we are all hubs. We, we will come back to it, but you need to understand the digital marketing um, landscape, the e-commerce landscape with regards to the targeting, what we really look out for with regards to the targeting. Then you come and create a, a compelling headline. If you really want to capture attention, most of the time, either your first statement or your first statement of that caption is supposed to be able to capture attention or there should be a header for that post. Look at what you see on our screen right now. What is the header? The header. The header is how to create compelling content. And this automatically makes you want to, it, it's, it's visible for you. It tells you what we are coming to talk about. So there should be a header. Sometimes you can use your illustration as the header and the main, main thing will be in the caption. It is very, very important. Create an engaging introduction, especially if you are doing a video. Listen to me, please. According to research that Meta did, Meta is the mother company for Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Threads, among others. According to research that they did, the people engage your post for the first three to five minutes. That is when they know that they want to continue watching your post. So you need to make sure that the video you are designing, the, the important message or the, the thing that will attract people is mostly within the first three to five seconds, sorry not minutes, sorry, seconds of that video. Now, how many of us have noticed, let me see by hand that, mostly on social media, on Facebook or Instagram, when you see a video, it will be sound off. You will start seeing it before the sound, you want to click on it, and then you click on it and the sound will come. How many of you have seen that, that feature? Let me see your hand. If you are scrolling through your phone, you see that if it's a video, the sound will not be playing, but it's just the actions. Yes, Emilia says she has seen it. Okay, Kwame has seen it in the chat box. Who else? That is because it is done for you to really watch it and come to a conclusion whether you want to continue watching it or not. And this should be in the mind of you, the company, the moment you are putting out an image, the moment you are putting out a video, the moment you are putting out any illustration, it is key. I am very, very, um, okay, so when you get to the um, eight, I'm going to talk about the visual, so let me move on. So please make sure that you, I think I started talking about that, okay. So create an engaging introduction, then, Try to sell value. Try to sell value. Don't just go and post about features. No one cares about features. Please, no one cares about the features that you are selling. Try to sell value. Now, sit down as a business and do use what we call the fab tool. The fab tool. The fab tool is F-A-B, tool. Now the F is called the features, the A is called the advantages, and the B is called the benefits. Now do an analysis of your hub. What are the main key features with regards to my hub? What are the specific elements of my hub? So as a hub, I, my location, look at your location, look at all the key elements of your hub. You know it best. The same way when a startup is also has designed something, you need to let 
once you are teaching them, let them understand that they need to do that, this analysis for their product or services. Now, the features, what are the features? What are the key elements of their products? That is the good or the services. Now, once that is done, pick each feature and then go on to talk about, explain the advantages of that particular feature. The advantages of that particular feature. Once that is done, let us know the, the benefits that is going to give to the customer or the targeted audience. Now, when you are selling to me a bottle of water, based on my needs, you sell to me the benefits, the advantages and the benefits. You don't just come to sell to me, oh, come and buy water because it's, 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 it's this and all that, the features, the bottle is this and that. Let me know why you think I need the water. Why you think I need your particular water. Why you think I need to come to your hub for a training? That is what you need to be selling. When you are posting things online, when you are saying you are even profiling your workers, telling us about their degrees and their qualifications. Sorry, but in marketing, we say that anytime you put something out there, the question in the minds of people is, and so what? So don't just come and tell me, you need to do this and that and that and that. And the qualification of my workers are this and that and that. And so what, Alfred? And so what? We want to know the value that worker you have brought on board or that trainer you say you are bringing to the, for that particular training is going to have on us. So this trainer has 10 years of experience. Good, that is a key element. Now the advantage, the advantage is that the trainer has been working with a lot of startups to help them create a customized marketing strategy that has really helped them to scale up their businesses in the past five years. He has actually helped about five people to win presidential pitch competition. Wow. What is the benefit to me, the startup that wants to come to your hub? The benefit is that you are in good hands so much that the trainer is going to help you to make your idea become investor ready. This is what you are selling to me. The fact that the trainer has 10 years of experience, I don't enter what. So put together this information very well. They all fall part of the content. Any information you are there. I see SE Ghana always doing information, profiling of our, of our um, members and everything. That is an awesome theme for you to be doing but and so what edwin what do we need to know about those hubs what have they achieved how are they helping people what is the impact why do someone needs to engage them that is what needs to be done so the fab approach so at this point i'm going to break and we are all going to create our fab approach. Let's just identify five elements and come up with the advantages and come up five features of our hubs, come up with the advantages and come up with the benefits. Are we good? Can, can, can people hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, Patrick can, who else? Alfred, can you hear me? I don't know why Alfred's name is the first I'm seeing here, but as long as I see your, your name, I'm mentioning it. So we are doing that in the next 10 minutes. It is 2.46. So by... Can you please, can you repeat the assignment? Some people are asking for a petition. <laughs> so we are creating a fab... We are using the FAB tool to actually analyze our hubs to help us understand the value, to create our value. Afterwards, um, as hubs, we can continue using it to help us with how we want to post. So I want you to, I, so for Lisbeth, for instance, Lisbeth is not running a hub. She's, she's into business. So identify, the FAB means, the F means features. So identify key elements of your product or service. The hubs are providing services. So identify 
key elements, five key elements of your hub, five key elements of your business. Then for each of the elements or the feature, let us know the advantage. And then for each of that, let us know the benefit to the, uh, to the end user or to the beneficiary. That is what we are doing. Please, are we good? Anyone needs another clarification? Hello? Hello? We, we can hear you. Uh, I don't know for the rest of the... Okay, I just... Uh, let, me, let, me, let me see by hands those who get what we are about to do. You are creating your fab approach. All right, so we have Jemima, Lisbeth. You are saying, yeah. Okay, so we are, the, the time is two forty-eight. So we are using ten minutes to do that. Ten minutes. So two fifty-eight. We come back. It's not like we are dropping off, but do it. I know some of you. You are in your office. We are. You are with your team and all that. So kindly sit and do it. Identify five key elements of your hub. Since you are all, most of you are hubs, then look out for each of them, their advantages, and then look out for each of them, the benefits. So time starts now.
So we have five minutes more. If you are also done, you can write done in the chat box. Uh, let me check if we are all done. We could as well continue. If you are done, you can just write done. If you are done, you can you can as well write done. Or if, you, if we need more time to let me know. Do we need more time? Two minutes. Today, I've not seen Diana. Okay, one minute more. Please, Augustina, which hub are you with? I will have to remove you, Augustina. Hello, Augustina. Augustina Abariche. Unfortunately, if I remove you, you can't join the session today. So kindly respond for me. Please, it's time. Yeah. 
Yeah, hello. Yes, Dora. Yeah, please. Uh, actually, Tina is part of our sister hub, but her laptop microphone is paused, so she can't respond to you. That's why. Uh, so she's part of Popping Academy. Yes, she's part of the media team. I see. Okay. Since you have unmuted, Candy, take us through what you have done. Hello, Dora. Yes, hello. Since you have unmuted, kindly take us through what you have done. Okay. So, uh, during your submission, you made mention about the features. So, with my understanding, I believe that features are some of the things you should see when you tap probably on a, uh, a hub uh, website or something. So for instance, uh, with my hub, if you should tap on uh, our website or if you should check us on Facebook or any of our social media handles, you see that uh, we describe that we are a hub and then we've, we've gone ahead to probably describe some of the things or the programs that we've held in our okay. space. Okay, let, and me, come in there. let okay. me come in there before. Um, is there, before I, I talk about what Dora is saying, is there anyone who had the same idea like Dora that is about your online presence? When I was explaining the provide value and useful information, is there any other person? No, please. Okay, Clifford, how did you understand it? Help us. Let me see. Um, well, I understood uh, it from this point. So the features are more like um, what's what's the hub we do? So exactly taking the hub as an entity. What are the things we do? Exactly taking the hub yes. as an ent entity. So I even use water as an example, and I actually made use examples like the hub you might be doing training this so everything with the hub not really about your digital presence um dora so the yeah, okay fab, well the fab approach is to help you to be able to put good information out there valuable information about your app even okay. when so anytime you are doing a program you are organizing an event you use mm -hmm. the fab approach you don't just go and post about the event just because it's an event. Let us use the fab approach. This event, what are the key elements of this event? What are the advantages of this event? How will it benefit someone who we want to come to the event? Then you put, to, put it together, create your message and put it out there. Put it together, use it to create a video. Put it together, use it to create a flyer, the concept to create a flyer, to create a video, to create the illustrations. Are you getting it? So it's yeah, not, it's, it's good you were using your digital presence also. That could also be another aspect, but the generality for a hub is for you to know as a hub, what are key things? What are the key, even sometimes it's the ambience. The ambience, that means how the place is set up um the, the 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 arrangement of the chairs how comfortable your hub the presence of your hub is sometimes it's the location one of your key features can be your location it's more about those things so once you know it then how is it beneficial what are the advantages and how is it beneficial any other person wants to try clifford since you got it and then alfred i'm coming to you because i saw your comments in there and then I'll go to, we are taking five people. Thank you, Dora. I will go to, um, so innovation, InnoHub. Okay, InnoHub hasn't spoken today. So I'll go to Divine. And then I think I want a lady. Leticia, Talents in Africa. And then Lisbeth, if the internet is working today, we can take Lisbeth. So Clifford. 
Hey, please, I've not been following. My internet has been on and off, so I can't contribute much. Okay. We will find another person. Playford, go ahead. Just give us you one. Know, um, Just give us one because I'm of so <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let's just take uh, digital skills training. Mm -hmm. So with that feature, the advantage I got was empowerment. So the benefits you get from it is you are, you are equipped with essential skills that will enable you to, to navigate yourself through this modern um, modern digital landscape and find ourselves. If it's right, that's the benefit for the empowerment. Okay, navigate yourself repeat it so you are equipped with the essential digital skills that will enable you to navigate yourself through the modern digital landscape now when when you do that what happens when they are able to do that what will happen so uh, um, it enhances your employability uh, it's, yes so it gives you it makes you attractive to potential employers once you have these, you are empowered with these uh, modern skills, modern digital skills. Absolutely. It enhances your employability. Wait, wait. The enhancing your employability skill or making you employable, that is the actual benefit. The first one you stated that it helps you to gain digital skills, blah, blah, blah. It's also an advantage. But to the person coming to that training, if you are able to let the person know that the moment you come for this training is going to, the advantage is that you are going to learn or gain digital skills, in-depth digital skills capability so that it enhances your capability or make you employable, make you sought after employer. That is what a person is looking for. That is what the person wants to hear. That after this training is going to make my Emma me boa kosho. Sorry for those who don't speak tree. I don't know how to say it in English. Emma me boa akosho. And for people who will will run after me to give me employment, that is the actual value. That is the actual benefit to the end user. Are you getting me, Clifford? Yes, I get it. So you can actually, if you are creating flyers. You can actually create a flyer around um, um, increase your employ employability chances by, by joining this digital marketing class. Do you understand? Do you see the difference? Yes. The yes. difference between I, I... saying, come, for, come and learn digital skills and then coming to write, increase your employability, uh, whatever. The English is not English in but like I hope you are getting what I mean. I hope everyone yeah. is getting what I mean. Okay, I want another person to share this and then we see. Okay, so Alfred, who is laughing at me? <laughs> my English is not English. <laughs> uh, okay, so mommy, um, I've sent you a personal message. Maybe yeah, after I've you responded. Can check. Okay, yes. Yeah, so uh, I think I'll touch on one. I'm I'm looking at um physical infrastructure. Okay. So the advantage to our users is that, sorry, the benefits to our users is that um, uh, we what have- What's the advantage? Okay, the advantage is that it's cost, I'm so cost, it's cost <laughs> efficient. <laughs> it's cost efficient, I mean- So we, when you we, say physical structure, you mean co-working space. You need yes, to be- co So space. remember the key word is specific features. Don't, don't try That's to generalize great. things. Sure, even sure. because when I take when I'm doing mentoring with you and we even take your whole hub, trust you me, we can pick different different features in your hub. We can pick the yeah. co-working space. Even with the co-working space, we can break it down. Maybe you have an individual co-working space, you have a group co-working space and everything. And each of them will have different advantage and benefit to different category of people. Okay, sure. So I think even, uh, okay, so I'll say the co-working space and then the training space because we do also rent so that pick out. One, pick one, pick one, and uh, do it. Let me pick the, the training space. Okay. So uh, with the training space, the main training space, since I have to be specific because we have different training mm -hmm. space. 
So you can main... give me you can give me an uh, eighty seater capacity training space. Okay, so there's fifty fifty seater capacity training space. Thank you. Is is cost efficient or yes cost efficient or I mean it's relatively cheaper. Um, and so it's an advantage um, for our users. And what is and the it, benefit? And the benefits, mm, I mean, the benefits, I'll look at it in terms of accessibility for, let's say, PWD uh, users. Okay. So if, right. if you are going in the in the tangibles of cost, the benefits could be that they will be saving on cost by using your space compared to okay. others. Or they will okay. be earning extra, they will be saving on their money because you said it's cost efficient. So they will be saving yeah. money, right? So yeah. that will be the advantage. So we are telling you that user, so save money by using our space. Space, yeah. You our see, 50 wait, our 50 seater space. Then you come and add, let's say you have other things before you come and add, oh, the P, even the P, having the PWD access is another element that you can actually build on to sell your hub. Okay. okay. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Please, yes. I, I, the fab the fab approach, actually, um, um, from where I learned it from, I learned it from a sales organization in the US. And we used to call it need um, need analysis, DQL selling process. So, and then just about two days ago from Salesforce, a guy that was doing a training, he actually made it simple for me. Fab, he used the fab, F-A-B, fab. And that's why I'm, but the main thing that we, we used to call is DQL. That is decision intelligence analysis. That's how we used to call it. So the fab approach, Once you, one thing that you should realize that as hubs, mostly the startups that come to us and for them to go online, even for them to go and do pitching of themselves and everything, mostly you see them generalizing everything. We do this and they are mentioning only the features, but the, the beneficiaries or those people, the investors and all those are not really looking into that. When you talk about a feature that my product is scalable, the investor is looking at, when you talk about scalable, okay, how is it bringing money into my pocket? So the value to the investor is how the money that it will bring to the pocket. So until you hit that call, you don't get the, the investor into your, 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 your side. When they are selling their products, if it's water, if it's Tom Brown, going to tell people that our Tom Brown we, is healthy and everything. Yes, most people are saying that, but what is the benefit to that person? Because each one and their own benefit. So we need to, fab, fab is features, advantages, benefits. Features is fab approach, features, advantages, benefits. So anytime you, are, anytime you create an event as a hub, and you're coming to sell it, try and make sure that I am really putting much emphasis here and, and spending time here because of the needs assessment, right? So if you are able to get this right, this value and useful information point right, trust me, you'll be able to tell a story about it because you already have the concept. You'll be able to use the right visuals. You'll be able to maintain clarity and conciseness. You'll be able to use engaging languages. You bring it down to the point where that person will be able to understand. You'll be able to incorporate data and statistics. Just like I'm telling Alfred to be specific about it, 50-seater training room is specific. You, you already have the data. How many people have used the place? Everything. You'll be able to know what you want people to do. You have the concept. Do you want them to call you? Do you want them to do this? You'll be able to do everything. So put it all together. This is about 18. We have every, it's actually for everybody can use a fab approach. Lisbeth, everyone. So I wanted you to even share yours. That's why I mentioned your name. 
you need to do it every one of us it is a business tool for for selling it is one of the key tools salesforce uses it for selling everyone can use so lisbeth you are if i remember correctly you are into mushroom selling so the mushroom now another key thing oh you are in the market <laughs> yeah some more Another key thing you, you need to understand is that when we talk about products, product is not just about what is inside your, your what is inside. It is the totality, the labeling, the, 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 the description, everything. So when we talk about a hub as a service, the service is not just the, the, the services that the hub is doing. Just like I'm saying, the building, everything, the trainers, everything, totality has to do with the hub. So you, when we, that is what you need to create the fab about, right? Solicit feedback, preview and test. Social media, digital marketing, everything is about testing. You test, you preview, you test, you preview, you test. How many of us did the exercise? Be truthful to me, because it's going to help us when we are doing the next activities. If you did the exercise, raise your hand. If you did it truly, raise your hand. Please show by hand. This current exercise, Victor did pink light. So those who did it, after this session, you can actually reach out to me, to my team for us to help you create a fab, a fab approach document. It's supposed to be part of your marketing plan. Okay, thank you to those raising their hand. The rest of you, so what happened? These are ways for us to get interactive in this class, right? So we are going to take two of these, apart from the value thing we've done. So we are going to take goal setting and then target audience and, and then delve deeper into it. What we mean by goal setting in digital marketing. So in digital marketing, when we say, Know your goals and set your objectives. It is six key things. Six key things. The goals can be creating awareness about your business or your products, or drive, you want to drive traffic to your website or to a particular place, a destination, or you want to create engagement, or you want leads. Leads in, in marketing, when we say leads, that means that um, more like prospective customers or those who show, who show interest. Or you want to, the app promotion, uh, currently Meta brought it, it's called, um, it's one of the tools under Meta. App promotion, maybe you have an app, you have something you want people to test, you can do that. And then sales, the main thing is sales. Oh, I think there's a hand up. From Divine Innovation Hub. Uh, I, I think it's from the first one. When the I earlier one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's right. So forgotten... you, also need to, you need yeah. to train them on how to uh, <laughs> bring down their hands after they raise it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Anyway, I've lowered, I've lowered their hands. Yeah, okay, Jesua's hand is up now. Jesua, please go ahead. Okay, I think it was an ad. So oh, sorry, it was a mistake. Okay. So the goal setting in digital marketing, the first one is awareness. Now, under the awareness, there are objectives that you need. So you don't just say you are creating a content. Like I said, what is the main reason why you are creating that content? What is it? Why? What do you really want to achieve? What, what do you want to achieve? So when you take the goal, the awareness, you either want your reach to enlarge or you want to create awareness for the brand that means that your page or a product or you want people to view your picture or a video you have posted or you want people to actually know about your business to come to your maybe you have a physical location most of the hubs have a physical location you want people to come there and know that yes your physical location is at this place that is what awareness mean people who are like those people that are likely to 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 react to it those people that are likely to remember them so you want 
and, and rich. Rich means that the length at which the number of people that you want your content to, to, to who you want them to see your content, that is the rich of a business. It has nothing to do with your likes or your followers. You can have few likes, but you will still be able to have a wider reach. And then the second one is about the traffic. You want to drive traffic. You have a page, a landing page. You want people to go there. You have a website. You want people to click a link and go there. So if you are, if you, 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 you are running a program as a hub, you want people to click a link and register. Then that means that in your mind, the concepts around which the goal for, 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 for creating that content is to drive traffic. Specifically, the objective is link, link clicks. They should click, click a link to come to you. Now, how many do you need? Be smart about it. We've talked about it and most of the apps, we know this, so I'm not really going to go into it. Be smart about it. You want people to come into your messenger to come and ask questions, or you have a WhatsApp link that you want them to, to come and ask questions. That means that traffic is your goal. You want them to be calling you. You want to gain followers among others. That means that that is your goal. So what exactly is your goal? You need to know. Is it awareness, traffic? If it's engagement, then you are looking at, oh, you want people to view. You want people to be commenting under your post. You want people to be reacting to your post. You want people to be um, uh, sharing your post. Is that what you want? Because the more they are sharing your post, the more they are liking, the more they are commenting, then you are enlarging your reach. What exactly do you want? Or you want people to really take action. Is it action that you want? You have forms that they should fill. You want conversions. You want them to call you. All those things are leads. I told you that when we talk about leads in marketing, we mean people who are interested in what you have to offer. If that is the case, then you should be clear about it and then know how to create a, the content around it. Now that you have, you've done your fab approach and you know, you pick, you pick which ones will be able to go out. So you have an event coming up and the goal is to get people to fill a form. So that is in your hand, your mind. Now you look at it, looking at this event, let me create a fab approach. I create a fab approach. Okay, these are the main elements of the event. These are the advantages. These are the benef benefits to the end user. Which of them would really get the end user to click and fill the forms, to come for the program, to pay for the program, to call and ask for more feedback? You need to make sure that you have a clear campaign goal. You want them. And if it's goals, if it's sales that you want, now, like I said, even on the... Um, Meta platform, there are the sales that you can do among others. So you need to be clear about it. That is how you set your goals and make sure your goals align with what you are going to create, the concept you are going to create, the content you are going to create. Please, am I making sense there? Because now that you've done your fab approach, the next step for us to do is to create awareness. I'm not going to let you do it now. We are going to dedicate the last 30 minutes to do that. So let me go to the, the last bit, understanding our target audience in the digital marketing way. Now, we already know this as hubs. When we are working with um, target audience, we know that we need to create, We please, all of us know what STP is, right? As hubs, we know what STP is. Oh, please. Okay. So STP means segmenting, targeting, positioning, right? And for you to understand your target audience, you need to segment them. Segment them means put them into various categories based on their interests. And once you are able to do that, you target the ones that you, you think that they would really want, you really want to sell to them based on your resources. 
and then you position yourself. Position means the perception that people have about your product, how they, they feel about your, your, your organization. So those, you don't just position yourself to all your segments. It's never done. That is the wrong approach. You need to position yourself to only your target. That is why we call them targeted audience. But for you to get those targeted audience, you need, you need to really have segments. It is the targeted audience that you create a customer persona around. And when you come to digital marketing, using the meter approach, once you are setting up, we look into various things. The first one is the interest. What are the interests of these people? What do they have in common? The people that you are trying to send the message to, what do they have in common? So that you actually try and use such approaches or such interest to get them to come and fill that form for you or do something. So what are those things? You already know these things because you've been teaching them. Then you use behaviors. How do they behave? How do they behave? And then you can use demographics. In the demographics, we are very, very in e-commerce, digital marketing, our demographics, there is only few that we are interested in. We are interested in gender, age, location, income level. Those are the ones that we are interested in. So you already have a bigger target marketing um, document in your organization, you have it. The, the startup already have that. You've done it. They've come for trainings and they've done it. Now they are going online. Out of that document, let them create the same thing. Let them just uh, align it with the digital marketing needs and their approach so that when they send a message online, it will not um, um, be an issue for them. Please, are we good? Are we good? Like I said, I wanted to dedicate the next 30 minutes based on what you have done. I, we are going to create, you are going to create for the next one week. I'm going to, we are, my team and I are going to monitor your pages. You are, right now, we are not doing it as a group. We are doing it individually, not breakout sessions. Individually. I want you to create, because I know most of you are with your teams there. Create your goals for this week. You just for the rest of the week, create a goal. Choose one of the goals and come up with the exact objective. Once you do that, create a con come up with a concept of a post that you want to make, of a content that you want to, 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 to put out there. Come up with that. And then let us know who you are targeting. Who you are targeting. Eunice, did you get the... the the? So they are creating a content... Yes, please. Marketing. I'm typing it. Yeah. Thank you. They are creating a content marketing for... Because tomorrow, the main session is on you creating a content calendar. But today, we want to know if you, you are using this to create a content, just a content, just, just something. So let us know the kind of image you are going to use. Are you going to, the illustration you are going to use, are you going to use a video, a flyer, a, a, just a picture or what? What would the caption be? What is the concept? Why, why did you come up with that? I wanted to give all of you one thing. But I think it's best for me to allow you to explore. And, and for those, we added this slide for those of you like Lisbeth, who is on the call. So Lisbeth, this slide is for you and for all the startups that will come. If they want to craft an engaging description, product description, after knowing their target audience, and doing the fab analysis that is focusing on the benefits, make sure that it's not a lot. Make sure it's very descriptive. You use bullet points, among others. It's very, very key, right? 
So Clifford is saying that the, the assignment is a bit um, confusing. So not assignments, we're actually doing it now. We are create, we are all of us, each hub is supposed to create um, let's say a content market strategy. Let me put it that way. It's not really a strategy, strategy, but a content market strategy. Now, from everything that we have learned today, you are coming up with a goal. So set your goal because these are the um various ways for you to come up creating uh where is it? When you want to create a compelling content. So define your objective. Let us know what your objective will be. And, and I've told you that your objective starts from awareness, whether you want to drive traffic, engagement, leads, sales, whatever. Now, let us know who you are trying to target. What is the topic? What is it? So design based on your fab approach that you, you did, which, which, which one of it do you want to use it to, 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 to post? then come up with the content. That means the caption, the headline, the visuals that you want to use, everything. Create it now. But because we can see the videos you do, you will tell us how, whether you use a video, whether you use a picture, let us know. But the caption, you can read it for us to hear. The concepts, you can tell us right now. The objective, you can tell us. Your targets, you can tell us. Clifford, are you okay? Yeah, yes, yes, please. I'm okay. Okay. So it's already 2.30. So we are using 20 minutes for this activity. In fact, 15 minutes. So that we use five minutes to discuss. So 15 minutes for this activity. Come up with, you are coming up for now with just one content that you are going to post tomorrow for us to see on your pages. So come up with that, 15 minutes, and then we use five minutes to discuss. Please, any anybody confused? Anybody confused? If you're confused, raise your hand. Okay, we are good to go. So create your marketing, your content marketing goals, create your content, create your audience, and create your compelling um, messaging. So Eunice, please alert me when it's 2.45. All right. Oh, don't I have any song? One of my favorite songs is Beyond Me. What a beautiful song. You are so happy. You are so happy. You are so happy.
five minutes gone. Let's wait 10 minutes. The first team that will present is SC Ghana. I just wanted to put it up close first. Five minutes more. Please, are we doing it or who has finished? I see that people are dropping off. Is it because they realize it's almost 10? If you have finished, let me see your hand. If you have finished, let me see your hand up.
Can you hear me? I don't know if they can hear me. If you have finished, let me see your hand. Your hand up. Your hand up. Okay. So Lizzie's Ventures Content Strategy goal to be the best brand business within the next one year. So, okay. And uh, target group age 18 to 15, 65. Ghana, male and female. Use Canva to design and post every week. And, uh, okay. I will let everybody come before I comment. Or I'll get somebody to share their comments on it. I think because Lizzie is at work today, she's not paying attention. You are in the market. Oh, okay. Three minutes more. Three minutes Three minutes more. Two minutes now. If you have finished to let me know, raise your hand. If you have finished, where are the SE Ghana team? What name are they using? Edwin. I see only Edwin for the SE Ghana team. Are you using one laptop today? But, but, but Eunice is our main person. That's our Please, communication Eunice person. Is so... not, the Eunice, Eunice is not there today for you. So no, you... no, no. <laughs> if you can touch me, I mean, I don't know. You are not telling me. <laughs> so I thought she is working on our behalf. You need is not it. working on your behalf, please. Uh, see you. <laughs> okay, so then defer to another organization. <laughs> no, Eunice, did you do it for your organization? Okay, so I'm I'm almost done. I'm not done yet, but I'm working on one. So. Okay, awesome. <laughs> So it's, 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 it's almost time. It's left with one minute. If you have finished, it's Kwame. Today, Kwame, today Seth Kwame has been spoken. And I think Divine or... Seth. Oh, it's time. Carol G.H. Seth. Yes, Seth is here. Okay. I love to hear your voice. Seth, what have you done? <clears throat> yes. What have you done so far? Yes, for Caro Ghana, um, for our concept, we, we use a Canva to create a flyer. Okay. For posting. Yes, the caption on the flyer will be empowering women through agro entrepreneurship. Okay. Yes, 
their goal is to train 500 women, young women in the Upper West region. Okay. And our target is young women between the eight, uh, age of 18 to 45 years. Okay. Okay. Yes, for now, this is what I have. I don't know if I'm supposed to add more. I'm, I'm still writing. Okay. So this is, this is, okay, I want one more person to share and then I see, because what you've done, okay. I see similar thing in what Lizzie did. And I'm, I'm, I think Hello. I'm getting where the issue will be coming from. Yes, Jesua. Please, I'm, I'm sharing my... Sure. Do you want to share your screen or you will share? No, please. Okay. No, please. So with our consent, we will be going with a video. We are yeah, having a session training video. Okay. Uh, with the use of cup cuts. Mm -hmm. um, so the the topic is against those make full uh, feedback from our training and role in our six months fashion training program to learn a financial sustainable skill. Uh, the target is the youth. So youth in secondary chakrabi. So I would tag those uh, institutions in Chakrabi, Western Region and Co to draw the attention of those in Chakrabi to see the quest. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right. I think I think yours 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 is falling in place for me. Somebody says they, they didn't hear you. Seth said your voice was low. Can you repeat it? Can you repeat start okay. the top? Mm -hmm. Okay. So with the content, it's a post on a fashion training feedback session. Okay. And the topic is gain skills, make income. Gain skills, make income. I like that. Mm -hmm. So believe it, a subtopic is feedback from our training enrolled into our six month fashion training program to learn a financially sustainable skill. So in the video, she would share her experience so far in the training and encourage other people to, to, to come on board. And I'll be targeting the youth platforms in Jakarta and share it to them. And I'm I saying that I don't know if it's in alignment with what you are saying. I think I actually love this. What is the objective of this? Is the objective to create awareness or to generate leads? To create awareness and generate Ge leads for sales. They Pick come one. To Pick okay. one. Is it for them to, to, to come and ask questions or for them to um, um, come and, and want to um, start the course or just to know? To come, to come and start the course. So that means sales is what you are looking at. So that yes. is that is yes. your goal. How many sales are you looking at? How many people are you looking at? Just Facebook. Remember, digital marketing is just one aspect of the marketing you will do. So with digital marketing, using just Facebook, let's use just Facebook. How many people are you hoping to get from there? Yeah, hoping to get a minimum number of 20. From just Facebook? Yes. Okay. So like we can actually go into other things, but I like it this way. So now let's analyze Japa with regards to their contents that they want to, the content. I told you that content has to do with everything that we've put together, not just about um, the video or this. So Japa's concept is that they have a training, a fashion training coming up. And so they want to create um their goal is to get 20 people to sign up so 20 signups is what they are going to look for now they will have a caption a, a headline which says gain skills and income then in the caption they write about what the program is about the only thing i didn't see there is now when they do that what is the main benefit? So you need to put valuable information. Another thing I didn't see there is a contact number or a link. I didn't hear you talk about a link. 
if you want them to really come and sign up, then there should be a link for them to register or a number for them to call to sign up. Japa, are you getting me? Yes. A link yes. Will, be, will be attached to the information to okay. the writer. For okay. You to click on and then a and then they, 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 they awesome. So that is the call to action. That is exactly what you want them to do. Because when they read, after they read, what, what exactly do you expect them to do? So I think this one, and they say they are going to use, with regards to their videos, they are going to use CapCut. Yes. Like that, is, that one, I just shared those tools with you to help you. But with regards to creating a content, just content, Diapa has helped, has created a content right now with the written form, with the video. She even told us what is going to happen within the video. It is when you know the exact content that you want to create, that is when you can use a tool like content calendar, which you are going to do tomorrow. Now, the issue I saw with Seth and um, Lisbeth is that, and Diapa, another thing as well is when you say the youth, it's too general. You need to be specific, right? It's too because Ghana has a way of identifying their youth. Um, the UN also also have a way. So you need to be specific as well as the location. You said Takrade, but I think Takrade, Takrade, I don't know. I know Takrade a bit, but is it all of Takrade or a certain area of Takrade and all that? What about the interest and all that? Now, one thing I realize in set. And, and um, what is the name? Lizzie's own is that the, the one that we've been taught, we, we, we are currently doing content marketing, not marketing in general, right? So though what they did was right, their goal was too general. It's about marketing in general, not just the content. We told you that with regards to content marketing, you can set a goal to create awareness, to create traffic, to create leads, to create sales and all that. So your goal should be around that. What exactly goal? Now, with regards to the concepts, before you create the content, once you know the goal and you have the target audience, you come up with the whole idea. You come up with the whole idea. So you are creating a content so when we say content, you are creating a full content that you can, so in, in, a, in a layman's term, you are saying, I'm telling you to create a post. Create a post. Lizzie, okay, Lizzie says she gets it now. Create a post. But I didn't just want to say create a post because we've learned about content marketing. I know somebody says, um, I use a uh, big, big, big words. Some of the words sometimes I should, but because I was you and I've explained content, because you are going to teach the startups. So I wanted to let you know, this is what content means. So the content is the generality. I mean, create a post, create a post and the post come up. Don't just create a post, come up with the idea, ideation, come up with who the post will be for and everything put together the post and let us know using the fab approach. So that means that in the post, let us know the valuables in the post. Unfortunately, we don't have much time, but I want to read, I think other people have shared this. I'm not seeing it. Uh, somebody shared it. I wanted to read it, but I can't. I think Pink Life. So the objective is to generate leads. Okay, that is not bad, but how many, okay. So, so the goal is to generate leads. The objective, okay, because we use this interchangeably, he said he wants 30 startup signups and he's going to use a flyer, a flyer with Canva and a one to two minutes long video. I don't get you. Are you going to do two posts or what? Or a flyer and then you, you know you're able to create a video with a flyer. So how are you going to do it? And then the target is startups in Ahafo. Ahafo is very broad. So when you talk about Ahafo, which particular startups? Because the startups also are in various uh, industries. So which particular startup? 30 startups to come and do what exactly? What is the concept? 
why sh you should join our accelerator program. Okay, so the, you use infographics, communicating an enviable business support network. What exactly? What are the values? So we, but I like I like the 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 the, the processing. It means at least this gives you an idea. And it is when you are able to do something like this, that's when you are able to create a content calendar, which we are, to, so tomorrow is mainly um, practical. Based on what you've learned today about content and everything content. Now we say that create a calendar. We have some tools, cal content calendar tools we will share with you. As a hub, you can come up with your own content calendar, the one that you think works for you. If we can actually share this on the main platform, we can continue conversations from there. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Pink Life. Thank you, Clayford and all. If we can share it in the main. So all I mean is come up with a structure on how you will create one content. This should tell you that I wish your bosses were here. It should tell your bosses that coming up with just one post for even just Facebook is a whole work, a total work. And so they should pay you people very well. And I'm a boy. It's a whole work, trust you me. Just coming up with one post. You don't just come up with a post. You need to think through it. You need to know who this post is for among others. Who wants to share again? We have some three minutes. Any questions? Any questions so far? Liz Lisbeth, do you do you get it? Do you get it now? And um, Seth. Are you good now? Yes, yes, I am good. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Seth, staying on you, what 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 are you taking away today? We have three minutes. Yeah, so what I'm taking away today is uh, now we'll be careful when we when when we post so that we we can reach our target audience. Awesome. So we can increase our yes, we can increase our target audience. With the right posts, the right content, let me put it there. You can, I, I love that. I love that. Who else? Who else? Uh, today, Victor hasn't spoken. Victor, unmute yourself. And I think I did not. Hello. Yes, Victor. Yeah, sorry. I've been a little bit tied up while being on the section. But okay. today's interaction was great, actually. And what I learned today will really help me actually, will actually help me uh, restructure uh, uh, my content for posting. Do every activity we do, I have to post and actually caption it. But if going forward, I'll find a better way to what, explain why we should really target, not as we are doing every activity, we should actually know how to what, post them, target the audience properly so that every message, do if they are not there, the message would actually live for a very long time for people to what, engage. Awesome. Awesome. I like this part. And let me add this. Even after an event as a hub, so don't forget that this is for you as a hub and then you are also going to teach the startup. But even after an event as a hub, you don't just put the pictures there and say, hey, we organized an event and this, this is, and so what? At the end of the day, you should think that even though you want to create awareness for the hub, you also want people to want to come to the hub. So even when you are just sharing the pictures, highlight the valuables that happened at the event, the valuables. So there is a class that I teach called Capturing the Moment as a digital marketer. As a digital marketer, even as a photographer, doing photography and everything, you should know at an event, when to capture events, when to capture moments, pictures in pictorial form, when somebody says something, when to write it down so that you can use for a post. We call it capturing the moments as a digital marketer. That one is a paid class that I do for digital marketing. And it's very, very key. You should have that third eye as a digital, not that we are witches, but you should have that. That somebody says something that you should be at the event happening. So after the event, you've taken pictures and videos, but which of the videos do you even put it into smaller bits and put out there to engage people? Maybe it's a five day event. The first day, you need to pick the ones that are valuable 
edit it first and post it so that it will attract more people to come for the following days. Please, did I make sense? And I hope that you are going to continue the discussion. You are going to continue. You are going, because remember that through from Monday, we've been giving you templates. We've been helping you with templates. Today, I've given you a tool called the FAB approach. Today, we've given you a process, how to create your content. And you should be using it because like Bettina said, unfortunately, Leticia had a, a, a meeting, so she couldn't do it. Like Bettina said, going forward, they will be checking in on you to see. And you, you see, if you're able to put some of these into place very well, implement it very well, you can even, I'm just saying, maybe you can write even a proposal that you want to also train other people on that. You want to do this. And even writing the proposal, you put it in very well, put the valuable information, and who knows, GIZ might come on board to support you, right? A last person who hasn't talked today that I want to talk. Um, hey, it's like everybody has talked. Divine, have you talked today? Yeah, I've spoken in the chat box. <laughs> I was in a noisy environment. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. And um, please, okay, so what? Eunice, yeah, I'm listening. let's share the um. Please, only 11 people have been filling the feedback form. Only 11 people. Right. And, and some of you, when I read the feedback, like I'm sad, you, you are not able to come for the session, you, but you, you record feedback and tell us that because you are not able to come, then, oh, please, don't do that to us. Because if we share it, internet, then it's an issue, right? So if you are not able to come, don't fill it, okay? Don't feel it. You just reach out to us about that. Like I said, I'm uploading all the videos as well. So you can go and watch repeats of the... Yes, the feedback form is um will be shared on the platform right about now in the WhatsApp group. Right? So are yes, we... I'm sharing. It's Kelly on the call. Kelly, what are we doing exactly tomorrow? Yes, so I'm on the call. So earlier on, you mentioned um, we'll be doing some, creating some content calendar. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be focusing on that aspect. That will be one of the major things we'll be doing tomorrow, actually. Okay. So, yeah. So you don't, you don't have to miss tomorrow. I see some people did not come today. Um, it's a learning curve for all of us. If you also know something that you want to share with us, you can drop it in the chat box when we are doing these sessions or you can um, reach out to us and tell us so that we share it among others because we are all learning. Every day we learn something new, right? And as digital marketers or marketing people, it is important for us to be um, willing to learn. So thank you all. Ed Edwin, do you have... Today they've stayed on throughout. Do you have any any words to say before we take our group picture? No, just to commend those who have stayed through the process. Indeed, it's our anticipation that the most committed hubs can be supported to provide continuous training to the various social businesses and inclusive MSMEs that we work with. So I must commend them for staying through the whole process. Uh, we would like them to continue till Friday and ensure that they have taken the best of learnings to go and execute at their various hubs. As I always say, there will not be any dedicated day or time that you say will go and train e-commerce. The whole idea is for you to have this as part of your normal training that you provide. So if you are going to train your normal startups or MSMEs, you should dedicate two or three slides on e-commerce for startups or MSMEs so that they can go back and incorporate this into their business. To you, Naomi, and your strong team of facilitators, 
Patrick and Eunice. We thank you so much for your commitment to the process. These are top-notch training that you're offering to our hubs and we so much appreciate your facilitation. I wish you all the best of the evening and let us remain committed to the process. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Please, before we go, kindly um put on your camera and let's take shots. Yesterday, I think because of time, we didn't. So let's do it fast, 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 fast. Let's take some shots. Camera, camera on. Oh, I see Victor. I see J. Oh, I see the face of Jesua today. Eunice is always in a dark place. Divine. <laughs> Kwame. Oh, this is a different person. This is not Kwame. Kwame. Set. Dora. Okay. It's the same Kwame you saw the other day. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just wearing glasses today. Ah, you. Oh, they bet you. Then let me put my own. Let me stop the recording.